Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. And we talk about sex on this show ad nauseum. But what about the unsexy side of sex? I'm talking about the noises, the smells, maybe even the fluids. Well, I've got some friends in the building and they got some stories. So let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. He gets out of the bed to take off his pants, but when he takes off his pants, there's still a light on, so I can see that he's not packing heat whatsoever. Anyway, we're getting into it. The lights are now off, and I move my hand down to, you know, start doing the do with my hand, and after like five minutes of stroking, he goes, why are you touching my thumb so much? His thumb. I was stroking his thumb for like a whole five minutes. <laughs> in the world. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we got a lot to unpack uh, there and oh, man. unsexy moments of sex to discuss. We got my friend <laughs> Scott Chuck. Right. Quite a thought. That's my move. We got <laughs> That's we one got of my moves. Do it. Do it. Do That's it. one of my moves right there. We got Perry Ned. Hey, how y'all doing? And we've got Cindy Burbano back in the building. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I feel like uh, yeah. sex brings a lot of pleasure, a yeah. lot of pain, and definitely some very uncomfortable moments. Oh, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, so did we identify with yes. something like that? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, Cindy. Speak that on was, it. See, that was in my learning years. Okay. Yeah. In the learning years when you don't really know what to expect and then you're like, ooh, surprise. Mm. I really got to go. Like, this is just <laughs> not going to do the thing, right? But as years go by, you start with the, the touching before, knowing what you're working with, so that you don't get to that awkward moment when now y'all are naked and you're like, oh no. No, because now you kind of have an idea if it's worth your time. But yes, it's happened and it was awkward. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it was, it was, and, and it lasted like five minutes, which was even worse. Well, the good oh, and bad. Well, I was gonna and say, come on, you're out of that. I, I really you're dodging, it, yeah. you're oh, dodging a non bullet. <laughs> <laughs> that really did happen. It was, it was, but it was good though because it's one of those where like I stood up like two seconds later and he thinks we're gonna cuddle and I'm like, oh God, I gotta go. I'm, yeah. I got things to do. I mean, you don't want to stay in no. Yeah. it. No. I mean, no. Yeah, no. 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 Mm. <laughs> All right, so obviously gay men and women are able to size up ahead of time, but how do yep. you do that with women? Is it always just a surprise when? That's why I keep more than one. All different no. sizes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I keep more than one. I keep more than one strap because all vaginas are different. So you gotta have at least three oh, different. Oh, that's straps. a beautiful thing to be able to provide. Yes. Right. <laughs> so you know, oh, you're like, are you like small, beautiful... medium, or large? Yeah. You're gonna kick me out of but that's... Ah, that ain't that ain't the one you want. <laughs> you get the one you want. Right. I put out the other option. What? Yes. Imagine if so, men could do that, that and yeah. you could just swap it out. Yeah, they can't do it. Oh my god. That's our superpower. There was, like, there was a site <laughs> called Detachable Penis from many years ago, and that would Bob. make a whole lot of sense. Makes right sense. Yeah. You give a whole new meaning to stay strapped. Come on. Come on. All day in the trunk. Okay, but how do you size up? A potential partner. There, I would. There's no way to understand what's going to go on down there. I mean, unless you're dealing with like in the gym and you got like you know. I just do the old Ray of, Charles. You got, you got a lot of meat, you know, <laughs> and Ray a certain Char thing. And yeah, I, Ray Charles. He uh he grabbed the wrist to see if you know she's a potential sex partner. Why? What? Because he was blind. He was blind. That's how he identified. No, but uh, so I, like, I don't know like, what's in the wrist, but it worked for me too. I'd be like, this a do. All right, well. <laughs> we'll After the show. We'll All right, let's we'll talk about embarrassing moments, personal moments in our, Ooh. I'm just kidding, okay. uh, in the bedroom. Okay. Do you have a personal one that you'd like to share? I am gonna, I am gonna share a, a stunning tale, as you know me. Oh God, um, let's sit back. You know, this is much, much <laughs> like the I'd ER, the ER. No, no, it's not oh, that yeah. long. All right, at the very tender age, as as Cindy was describing, and these things seem to happen. As as at at my age now, I'm like, there's nothing that's really gonna throw me. I don't think. <laughs> like watch, watch right. that. Yeah, watch right. karma hit with that. <laughs> right. um, no, no. Um, no, but um, I was seventeen or eighteen. I was I was still in high school, so it was either a senior. Or, um, I was at I was there was a, I was I was away. I was at my friend's college, so I was uh, hanging out in the college where there's a dance that night. Like everyone's kind of yeah. you know, uh, there's a girl there. She's very lovely, and she's got a sm a slight limp. I notice she has a slight limp, but like otherwise everything's cool. I'm like, I'm like, whatever. I all like, I'm just you know the setup. So we start making out at the thing, and it's good. She's like, you know, go back to my dorm room with me, and um, we're getting it. It's clothes are coming off, you know, like we're we're you know we're dry humping for a minute. And she's like, hold on, I have to take my leg off. Uh -uh. 
an entire uh -oh. prosthetic leg, uh -oh. almost to the hip. No. Yeah, this was not, no, 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 not here, here. And I'll tell you oh. what, my. You know, you want to talk about hydraulic issues that were about ah. to ensue for this boy. Um, and then and then the, oh. the, the added complexity of like, oh my God, yes. I have to yes. her or yes. I'm going to make yes. her feel right. horrible. Right. right. You know, and then so, you know, fortunately at 17, there's no hydraulic issues that are really going to get in the way when there's an active, I feel like my, you know, I might offend a community with what I'm about to say. But I feel like the handle would be perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Spin a couple of spin moves. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, side <laughs> was perfect. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, okay. yeah. It I'm, was so, like, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing fewer <laughs> obstacles is what I'm it's seeing. It's just the initial shock of it. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just it, like, excuse me, let me just take off my arm. I'm like, what? Right. I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, you, there are you positions know? you don't know about. Okay, okay, That was wow. very convenient. Oh that God. is definitely an awkward moment. All right, I know the rest of you got some for me. So uh, when we come back, we're gonna <laughs> dive in with Keisha, Perry, and Cindy. You stay right there, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the nightgap. We're having a blast <laughs> talking about the unsexy side of Ooh, sex. Wow. The smells, the noises, oh. the, uh, the bush lack cookie. of limbs. Bush uh, we've got Scott, we've got Keisha, Perry, and Cindy. All right, who's got a story to share okay. to follow up Scott's? I got one. Okay, come on, it's, Perry. It's not about a, a missing leg or anything like that. But <laughs> Uh, so I used to be a flight attendant. So um, I remember there was this one time where I was in the I was in the bar. I was trying to pick up this older guy, mm. and um, very handsome guy, and uh, kind of looked like you a little bit. Okay. Um, and so brought him back. We both were kind of lit. We got in the Uber, came back to my hotel. The Uber driver was actually really hot. So I was like, oh well, homeboy's knocked out. He's older. He's not gonna wake up anytime soon. So I'm just gonna do the Uber driver. <gasps> <laughs> so Uber driver comes over. We put him in the bed. We go to the restroom, we start messing around. And now, one thing about me is that I have a very talented mouth. Uh, <clears throat> oh. So, uh, <laughs> hmm. so, you know, I go down and I start doing my thing. You know, he's feeling good and he's like, oh, you know, like, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm thinking he's about to finish, right? Well, right when he's about to finish and I'm like ready to, you know, get my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He pees in my face, no! and I'm like, what? The? Wow. And my my natural reflex at first, I didn't know it was pee. I'm like, oh wow, you're a lot. No. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's still in my mouth. Like, oh. oh. And I'm like, oh wait, this is not, this is not. This oh. is something else. And I'm like, so I immediately got up and I guy? I punched him in uh. the chest, <laughs> and I, I punched him in the chest. Just natural reflex, just mm. punched him in the chest and made him get out. Oh my And gosh. then the the guy woke up from the. I the knew this commotion. was gonna happen. He was gonna wake up. <laughs> he uh -huh. woke up from the commotion, and I'm like, oh crap! Now I have to explain why I have all over me, and like you know. And why the Uber guy? Why naked. the Uber guy? <laughs> right? Why is the Uber guy running out of here? Like so, yeah. That was that was one of my most embarrassing moments. I vowed to never talk about that ever, but here I am. <laughs> here you are. Oh, as yeah, he was running out, was he like, I want five stars. <laughs> right, right. Like, no, no, you get no stars, sir. No stars. Zero oh, stars. Yeah. That is wow. So, yeah, I got R. Kelly. Oh, oh, yes, you oh, did. Oh, my. Okay. Golden shower. Golden. I don't my, know what it is about people with that. I'm sorry. I'm just so against it. Yeah, certain like, bodily fluids. I never that there's just don't spit on that. me. Don't pee on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Leave that in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm not interested. I don't like to even watch people pee. Like, yeah. that's just not. Don't ew. As opposed yeah. to which, with the cr the throngs of piss watchers out there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> men, you know, they're like next to each other in the urinals. I'm sure y'all like look over. No, no, no one does that. No, no, that's, that's no. no, 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 no. Oh, that's that's what you do. Well, so there's actually an etiquette for that. So like when you're at the yes. urinal, you don't go next to the person like right there unless that's the only one available. You typically will go in. in so the that's stall. etiquette, but I feel like not everybody follows. Right, etiquette. not everybody. I mean, and they're I, peeing yeah. on your face. Right. Well. <laughs> Well, so period. it depends on it depends on your intentions though, because we in the gay community we have what's called uh, what's called cruising. So mm. like when you're cruising, you're looking for somebody to mess with in the restroom or in a public place. You take them to the restroom. So if you're cruising, then you go next to them. You kind of look over or you kind of play with it and see if they're gonna catch wind of it and try to go in the stall with you or something like that. So, oh wow! Yeah, that's a big thing. It's, it's called cruising, ladies and gentlemen. In case you didn't know, you're you gonna know, be like, the, entire, the entire gay community is out there going like, I can't believe he's telling them that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna have to come back because I got to process. I know you do too. We are talking about the unsexy side of sex, and we'll be right back. Oh my gosh.
Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about the awkward, funny, weird, ridiculous side of sex. And of course, I had to send my girl Jen out on the streets to ask people about their awkward moments. Hey, what's up, Caroline? It's your girl, Jen, and I'm out here in these streets, and I'm asking people, what is the unsexy side of sex? Anything awkward happen during sex to them? Let's go find out. You know the ones that, that talk so much, and then you get there, like, all right, well, what was you talking about? This ain't it. Show me what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, just weird. I mean, yeah, just, of course, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> did, it, did it just turn you completely off, or were you? Oh, no, I did. I did it. I did it. <laughs> it was me. Realness, baby. It's the realness. He was moaning at a very high pitched frequency, oh, and there was kind okay. of like, what are you doing? At dude? one point, I thought what it was you me. Doing? I was like, is that me? You had to you check yourself, right? No, I don't really like any boyfriends be calling, right? Like, hey! Man. I like when that, when that boyfriend starts oh, calling and she's still going. You calling now. That, that, that one is sticking your mouth. Wow. Nasty, nasty. Wow. Yeah, we got him out there. We, we know you out there. We know there's some out there that's like that. I hate when it's snake, yeah. but it's not. I never really yeah. run across all just, that. that. Yeah, that's but right yeah, there. It's, it's just, just that's, you gotta that's go. the X, X right yeah, you there. Gotta go. Damn, she had to cut that uh, like thing in her uh, her thong, and it was just, it was bad after that. It was bad after that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the winner. I think yeah. you're the All right. <laughs> People got stories. <laughs> oh, they don't stories. seem to like the, uh, the, uh, spitting in the mouth. Hey. <laughs> Cindy's like, absolutely that's not. Like, that's nasty. Well, I, 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 I fought it. You fought? <laughs> okay, I fought it. So you <laughs> fought it in her, in her face. In what? Her oh, face. In the face. Oh. So on I, uh, I said, no. accident. she was like, let me go down on you. I'm like, my stomach hurt. We really shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, this ain't gonna take long. I'm like, but my stomach hurts. She said, it's gonna relax you. And it relaxed. It relaxed. I didn't fart, I pooed it. It came out with a, like an oh. air and a whistle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, like, you know. No! Oh, God. Oh, Lord. But she kept going. She kept going. So, yeah. This, that, that was uncomfortable, but. Well, that's Is love, she though. still around? That's no. Love. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, I got rid of I was like, that's a bit much for me. <laughs> <laughs> she might want to pee next. I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just might want to. She liked the restroom. Yeah. So, no, we're not going to. Yeah. Wow. I wrote a poem about it and everything afterwards. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ooh, Served as inspiration. Yeah, it was a yeah. bit of an inspiration for the stage. <laughs> I put it in her face. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, so taking off what they've said, did, have you guys ever dealt with noises that were very weird or awkward for you that like maybe took you out of the zone? No. No. Noises, uh, noises, no, are, good noises for me. are to be expected. Yeah. yeah. I love that sound. Yeah. yeah. No matter <laughs> like <laughs> oh, 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 I, I thought you were talking about the actual the No, actual I'm saying like the moaning like the macaroni and, groaning. and cheese. Okay. Um, or just dead silence. Oh that oh, is that, like, not I, that. I yeah. cannot deal yeah. with somebody that does not talk. Like I, I mean, I'm not talking like full like right. monologues, right. but like at least like something yeah. and turn me on. I'm very like I, I like to hear like yeah. the, that's yeah, yeah. one of the things that's part of it. It's a balance. It, it has horrible, to be. Right? So a guy that's completely quiet, I'm like, are you there? Like why? What's <laughs> happening? You know? Yeah, like yeah. he's so concentrated. I don't know what the hell, but no, yeah. Yeah. not silent. Yeah. Yeah. We need we need no, something. For sure. I like yeah. verbal. Talk to me dirty. Like, Breath. Say, say okay. nasty stuff while I'm. Yeah. Deep, Have deep they ever said ear. something too nasty? No, not no, for me. Okay. No. Nah, yeah, I'm yeah. the giver of life. So when I'm when I'm in that thing, like I want to hear you. Like I need you to be vocal. I'm like, the giver I am of the life. Giver of life. <laughs> wow. Soul snatcher. Now there there was this one time. Now when I back when my father just in the days, I was I was a little slut back then. But um, mm -hmm. I the, I had called this guy over. Real nice buff guy, nice body. He came over. We started doing the do, and he was rushing for some reason. I'm like, dude, like why are you rushing? And like after five minutes of me being in him, like he. And he's like, oh, I got to go. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm thinking we're about to cuddle. We're about to watch some television or something. He's like, oh, I told my girlfriend I was going to go get something to eat really quickly. Oh. I'm like, dude, like what? Like, oh, I thought no. I found the love of my life. I'm like, oh, you know, oh. like he was doing all the things. And I'm like, dude, this was only like 10 minutes of my time. But like, ugh. It hurt Only my ten minutes of my time, but <laughs> it hurt my time. I thought I found the love of my life. I was no, a hopeless quick. romantic. Like mm. I learned real quick. Mm -mm. That's yeah. insane. No. So since the show's been on, you know, we've been over years. I did have uh, someone like doing Ozaddy, mm. and it a was 
oh zaddy like and it was like the, because of the show you know and one of my yeah it was like someone you know someone's under me is like oh zaddy and it was like it didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, See, but do you get flaccid at that point? Do you keep going? Do you like start thinking of other things? Um, I don't get flaccid. No, no. Because oh. why? I'm a spokesperson. No. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but let me ask you this: Is it easy for you to get turned off? Because that happens to me sometimes. Like flaccid. we can be in the thick of it, and then you could. Say I'm something so or... careful these days with who I end up like actually hooking up. Despite the persona I put out here, the, 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 by the time I'm in bed with someone, it's like. Anything there's a can, connection. Yeah. yeah, there's a connection. Yeah, I, I, I don't. There's uh, random sex doesn't work for me, and it's all about intimacy and connection, really. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's like no, random it's, sex it's all is good. all I get. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the random. We are the count. Yeah. 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 Give me the random. Yeah. All right. When we come back, we're gonna have a little game night of Would You Rather, the unsexy sex edition. Stay right there. We'll be right back. This time for Game Night! Hey. Hi. All right, would you rather have your parents view your sex tape or you view theirs? Oh, oh God. God. Oh my God, me view no. theirs. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, just, I would I traumatize them. No, for sure. I'm sure they're very vanilla. I mean, yeah. yeah. For sure, I'd rather have them see mine. Mine are wildly entertaining. Look at my boy. So, <laughs> my <laughs> She's showing her friends. Get kiddo. <laughs> She's showing her friends. Did you so, subscribe to my yes, son's right. yes. My parents don't necessarily agree with my lifestyle, so I wouldn't want them to view my, yeah, okay. my situation. I try to keep that away from them respectfully. However, yes. comma, there was this one time where I did walk in on them, <gasps> and it scarred me for life. Yeah. Um, we are getting a refrigerator delivered to the house, right? And my oh, parents- Oh, you've taken us there, okay. Maybe the, my parents were in the room, and usually, the, you know, they close their door or whatever when they do their deed. And so I'm in there and someone rings or, or knocks on the door and I'm like, oh, someone's knocking on the door. Well, they're not responding or anything. So I go knock on their door like, hey, uh, someone's here. I think it's the delivery guy for the refrigerator. So my daddy has this really deep voice. And so like, you know how parents, they turn up music or turn up the TV. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So the TV was very loud. They were watching a movie, right? Uh -huh. And so my dad said, what you want? But from <laughs> the outside of the door, it sounded like open the door. So I was like, oh, so I opened the door. Uh -huh. Baby, mama was in the bed spread like a starfish. Daddy was in between the legs, <laughs> going to town, munching. But yeah, scarred me for life. I closed the door and this is probably why I'm gay. <laughs> I was wow. like, never again. <laughs> All right, Keisha, we haven't heard you. Yeah, they're gonna have to watch mine after that. They, <laughs> okay, they're gonna have they to gonna watch yours. They're gonna have to see. They're gonna have to see me get down with all of the. Cause I know they want to know. They're very curious on how. Oh, so you're like, I'd rather satiate their curiosity. That's right. Okay. You gonna, you're gonna like see it. how two women get down, and so much. No more questions about it. Yeah. Take a good look. What is it, this scissoring? I've heard so much. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> looked like a scissor for real. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go on to the next question. Would you rather accidentally call your partner by your ex's name? Or have them do that to you? Oh no, I'd rather call them. There's yeah. no oh, way you're calling sure. me by another yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. You're, yeah. We're done. Call me the wrong name, and I will have hydraulic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Anthony Leah does it down there. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right. Would you rather never be able to kiss again, or never be able to have sex again? Ooh. Never be able to kiss. Yeah, you can keep them kisses. <laughs> 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 Wow. We're, we're good. Wow, we're I'm good. feeling soft compared to the girls. <laughs> you here. can keep them. What yeah. about you? Keep the kiss. I would have. I mean, I have to say, ultimately, if you got to decide, you've got to keep the sex. But man, yeah, that's a, that's that's difficult. That's a tough one. Because yeah. kissing is. It's very intimate. Oh, look at it being intimate, so mushy yeah. and so That's romantic. That's what I said. I'm yeah, soft. Whatever. I'm soft really compared soft. to you. But there are <laughs> people. There are some people that just can't kiss correctly. Like, You're right. It's yes. either too wet. But there are people who cannot. Correct. That's, right. That's, That's true right. too. That's true too. But if, I love a good kiss. It's very intimate yeah. and very, you know. If you can't kiss, you can't. Right. What? Yes, That's so not you true. Might want to keep the kiss. Yes, you can. I know some freaks. No, no, no. I mean, if you're not a good, if you're not good at kissing, you're not good at. That's right. I get you. I see what you're saying. What do you mean? You're like. She knew it. She and I are. I was thinking about making love. I know about you. All right. Would you rather people could hear? Your thoughts during sex or never make any noise during sex. <laughs> no, I'd rather not make noise. I'd rather not hear what I'm thinking. No, that's I can't. True. No, I can think some things sometimes that are just <laughs> not right. appropriate. I mean, not not in the because there's times that I'm like, did I take out the garbage? 
Or oh, like wow. I start thinking of things that are so not sexy and so not in the moment okay. that you would never want your partner to here. Well, if, you see, for a guy. Well, sometimes I'll think of things, you know, I'm like, okay, well, this is taking longer than expected, you know, and I'm well, thinking like, right. I'm already, you know, yeah. what else I need to do? Well, and for a guy, if you're like, if you're trying, if you're edging and you're trying not to pop, Oh, you're you know, thinking of other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah. You're like, I got to get baseball cards for my son for Christmas. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Same All right. Okay. Well, to the sexy side of sex, okay? <laughs> I hope your lays are wonderful. <laughs> All right. Cheers, cheers to you. And listen, everybody experiences some unsexiness in the bedroom, so don't even worry about it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. We've got every episode of the Nightcap and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun.